Thank you all for attending. Again, my name is Matt Hamby, and I'm a senior performance manager here with Xtime. Today, I want to talk to you about how to digitize your customer experience to increase customer satisfaction. And I came up with this idea from some recent dealer experiences I've had. And as a customer, I have a story I want to share with you that really impacted me bringing all of this uh, to light today. So uh, a year ago, I uh, was looking for a, a new truck. And I went online, I went to Auto Trader, and I punched in all my criteria, and I found the local dealerships that had the vehicle I wanted. And of course, you know, anywhere from 16 to as, as many as 37 pictures online, I saw the exact vehicle I wanted. I could see the window sticker. Uh, you know, I get the little pop-ups whenever I would go to the dealer's website to actually look at it uh, on their website. And, you know, you get somebody there, you know, wanting to chat with you. So I started the chat and I ended up buying a vehicle online. So from the comfort of my home, I sent them pictures and all of my trade-in information. We did the deal over the phone. They sent me all of my paperwork via email. Of course, we're texting and, and we're calling each other. And electronic signature, this all started on a Monday. And on Friday at by 4.30, my new vehicle was in my driveway and done. And it really was, people ask me all the time, they're like, Matt, was it really that easy? And I'm like, it was that easy. I had such a great experience buying my vehicle online. It's not the first time I do it, have done it. And it's the way that I prefer to do it. It should be the way that you prefer it too, because you can be working with 10 of me at that time. I'm not an up in the store that's consuming a bunch of service advisor time. So tens of thousands of dollars spent online, never seeing your state-of-the-art multi-million dollar facility was a great experience for me. Fast forward about six months, I uh, was ready for my first service. So I went online to the dealership to schedule an appointment and I couldn't schedule a Saturday service appointment. So I called in the dealership and got to a service advisor and they said, well, sir, we don't take Saturday appointments. We're first come first serve only. And I can already tell you that, you know, I'm just, it's just going downhill from here. I'm like, really? So I get up my normal time Saturday morning, <clears throat> drive like NASCAR to get up the highway to, to get to the dealership. And I am there at 7.25 a.m. They open at 7.30. I am the eighth car in line. And when they open at 7.30, there are two service advisors there, eight customers. And before they could finish riding all of us up, three other customers had pulled in. And and it was, look, I mean, they're super, super great, very nice people. It's, you know, it's kind of a, hi, honey, you here for an old change of tire rotation? I am. We'll just go have a seat in the waiting area and we'll come get you in a little bit. So... I can spend tens of thousands of dollars with you buying a car online, never going into your store, have it delivered to my house, and I can't schedule a hundred dollar oil change. Instead, it's, you know, you, you just come in and wait with everybody else. And the one thing you can't give me back is my time. And that's that's my most valuable asset. So I was like, man, you guys could do a better job of just controlling your workflow. I mean, it was, it was. What, what we want to call controlled chaos there first thing in the morning, I actually felt bad for the advisors. I mean, they were making zero sales. There was not an upsell made while I was there. So in sharing that, it's like, well, well why go digital? What, what really creates a digital service experience? And that's, that's where we want to talk about is what is digital in your life? The stories we tell each other now begin and end visually, making the narrative more literal than ever. Customer expectations have been on the rise for some time, and the digitally powered COVID-19 climate has only accelerated this. Dealerships need to evolve to meet our customers' needs. A digitally powered service-centric model is all about getting the most out of every transaction to boost revenue, customer satisfaction, and I'm going to throw some employee satisfaction in this piece too. To do this, we have to focus on three key priorities, increasing customer convenience throughout the entire service process, improving transparency by boosting communication and customer engagement during appointments, and building trust between the customer and the service provider to establish a long-term relationship. How do we do that? Look at the apps that you have on your phone, your coworkers. I mean, it is just crazy the number of things that we do, online shopping, food ordering, anything that we want to do, we're just doing it online. Well, what about our customers? And I hear clients tell me, well, you know, we have an older client base. Well, you know, I'm glad that you've been able to build and maintain these relationships through the years, but did you know that over two thirds of baby boomers, boomers have smartphones? 
Yeah, they're using these things now. So the big, the biggest generation, the most populous generation out there right now are millennials. 82 million people in this group, $1.4 trillion of spending power. All right, 10 hours a day absorbing social media content from videos to chat groups to anything that they want to do. And all of these groups in between are in your demographic and how appealing are you to each one of those? Again, everything that they're doing, they're booking their trips, they're planning their days digitally. But yet, you know, we want to ask people, we'll just come in and wait. We don't want you to book an appointment. And that just doesn't really fit their narrative. So my next question for you is this. I mean, just, just something basic, simple. How many of you can, can tell me your home phone number from when you were a kid? I mean, think about that. We know it. Tell me your tell me your best friend's phone number. Who was the best man at your wedding? Do you have his phone number in your head or, 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 or your maid of honor? You probably don't know it because you don't need it. So how do we digitize our customer experience? And we do that with X time spectrum. Schedule, engage, inspect, invite, uh, some of our ancillary products. This is how we create a very unique service experience and set ourselves apart from the competition. So let's take a deep dive into one of these and we're gonna kind of walk it through an appointment process and talk about how each one of these things is gonna play a key part in retaining our customers and creating a better customer service experience. So. X time schedule. Is scheduling an appointment a digital experience? Absolutely. It is very much digital. The scheduling an appointment is the gateway to your service department. This is what sets the tone for how the service experience begins. You heard my story. If I could have done it online, I would have went in there with a completely different expectation. To do this, we have to start with a properly loaded shop so that your advisors have the time to interact with their guests. You've all experienced more than one customers than staff, more than more customers than staff, and this creates a lot of stress and lost sales. A proper schedule helps you overcome this daily issue. Start with building your capacities based on what works best for your shop. Is it hours, appointments, teams? How do you want to vary your time slots? Do you want to do them every 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes? Create available service choices and menus that make sense. Are we going to use a, a dealer menu or are we going to use a factory recommended menu? Once we have this foundation built, we need to take it to the next level and structure our consumer portal. A great scheduler is designed for customer use. Know your percentage of web-based appointments and make them easy to navigate to and schedule. For one, have a shortcut to schedule service on your search results screen for your dealership, just like here. If I go to your home page, you need a visible, clearly labeled schedule service icon right there. I don't wanna have to search for it. It should just be bold and right there. Let me schedule my service appointment. I see stores that place restrictions on web capacity because they say they can't control or they're hard to manage. So going back to, to what we mentioned earlier, what I mentioned earlier about COVID, in the middle of 2020, heavy pandemic restrictions in place. I had a service advisor with a high volume midline import store with a major issue. His entire BDC went out uh, with a COVID outbreak. So we, we hopped on the phone and he's like, Matt, what do I do? And you could tell he's looking for a break because I hear the phones just, just ringing off the hook. And I'm quickly logging in and I'm looking at it and I'm like, man, your, your, your walk-ins are crazy. They're counting for like 40% of your daily traffic. So I said, hey, we need to go and, and try and book an online appointment at your store and see what your customers are going through and why, why your web appointments is significantly less than 10%. So we went on there together and there were over 70 choices of a la carte items to choose from. That's way too many. Uh, your, your customers generally aren't going on there because they're having a bunch of problems. They're going on there because they know specifically what they want, and they're, they're looking for usually maintenance items. Not to say that they don't have some problems every now and then, but we have to strategically place what we want them to be able to choose in the order that makes sense. So that's exactly what they did. That's where I said, hey, less is more. Most common, you know, options are what we're looking for. Let's start with a maintenance. We'll throw a check engine light and like a bulb indicator on there. We'll leave a tell us more in there. So if they have something specific that they don't see, they can tell us. So we restructured his website. We then sent out an e-blast that said schedule online and save. And over the next six months, we saw their walk-ins drop by over 20% and their web traffic increased by just as much. 
huge improvement in customer service experience. Advisors were allowed more time to build on key relationships. We also saw their hours per RO continue to increase during that time because we had more time with our customers. It's not unusual for me to see stores that have 5% web penetration to 40% web penetration. Those dealers that embrace the consumer portal as an efficient tool to reduce incoming call volume and walk-in traffic will see the most benefit. I encourage you to take a look at, at your website. You do it from your smartphone, do it from your desktop. It doesn't matter either way. And go through what your experiences go through. It's like it's kind of like mystery shopping yourself. How easily can I book an online appointment for my own store? And if it doesn't make sense to you, people that just know car stuff, it's definitely not going to make sense to them. So I would I would put that down as one of my, my homework notes for today of go look at my consumer portal, see how easy it is to access, where's my schedule now button, and how quickly can I book an appointment and what services are available to me. So we, we talk about we're going to create a digital experience, and the most basic digital experience is texting. In schedule, automated appointment notifications, such as appointment confirmation, maybe a 24-hour reminder, appointment follow-up, you can customize these notifications, these automated notifications, as much as you want. You want a five-day reminder, a seven-day reminder. It's no surprise the national average for appointment show rate with service reminders is greater than those that do not produce a service reminder. With integrated two-way texting, just stepping it up a notch here, your clients can communicate with you faster than ever. Remember, when we see a text message, when we have that little red icon there, that it triggers reaction in us. And it's red for a reason. It's meant to do that. It is a call to action. So what if a customer needs to reschedule? Now it's easy. It's fast. What about rescheduling no-shows? What about communicating with a customer that you're special or partisan and we'd like to schedule your appointment? Uh, vehicle status, and we can use this feature to overcome these 10, 2, and 4 outbound calls. So if you don't have texting in your dealership, you're missing out on a great way to overcome operational inefficiencies by not having this basic piece of communication in here. Reiterating how COVID-19 has reshaped how consumers want to interact with each other, it's never been a more important time to take full advantage of a tablet-based check-in. So now that we've created this appointment and, and you've sent me these notifications, it's time for me to come in. What is it going to look like the day that I arrive? So do you have a self-check-in process? If I want to be socially distant, do you have a self-check-in check -in process on the tablet that notifies you that, hey, I'm here, but I don't want to come in and be around other people? Maybe I need to stay socially distant. Maybe it's a personal choice. Maybe it's because I have you know, an immunity problem. But either way, we need to offer these choices to our customers. You build this. You decide where your clients should park. Where should they leave their keys? What if they want to speak to an advisor? Where is that area at? And the notifications on the tablet uh, notify your staff that, hey, I'm here. I'm ready for you to come out here and see me now. So whether the client chooses a self-check-in process or a standard drive-in procedure, when we talk financials, the two ways to increase profitability is by bringing money in and reducing outgoing money. A digital walk around process is a must in today's atmosphere. So to be able to, to grab this tablet, take video or just simple picture walk around of my car, the, the instrument cluster, for example, do I have any warning lights on before I drop my car off? What was my fuel level? What was my mileage? We've all experienced those arguments throughout these years. What about pre-existing damage? Your customers are going to appreciate this too because they're going to know that you want to you know, take care of their vehicle and deliver it back in the same condition that it came in by avoiding you know, uncomfortable conversations at the end of the day was, geez, was that there? I'll give you a great example. Earlier this year, I had a service manager reach out to me. Um, it, was, it was close to 7 o'clock at night. I'm uh, actually eating my meal. And my phone rings and I see him calling and for, for him to be calling me this late in the day, I knew that there was an issue. So I answered my phone and I'm like, Hey, what's going on? And he says, I've got a, a customer here picking up and there's some damage on the vehicle right in the area we worked and, and I can't find the pictures. Can you help me? I said, sure. So pictures are easily accessed through the tablet or the desktop, either way you want to go. But I had my iPad handy. So I logged in, I found the appointment and I clicked on it and I still had him on the phone. And I said, uh, I said, man, there's about a dozen pictures here. Your advisor did a great job. Which one do you want? And he said, I want the hood. 
And sure enough, it looked like somebody tried to open the hood with a, an air hammer. Um, it was it was obvious. So I sent him the pictures real quick. This one incident paid for itself. This dealership had previously learned a lesson in a similar situation, and they put a photo policy in place. And here it's very easy. We take walk around pictures. If the pictures show the damage is there, then it's there. And if it's not there, then it's on me. We handle it no problem at all. Uh, they also hold their service advisors financially responsible for this. It is part of their job where they have to do these walk around pictures because they're concerned about their CSI, about their retention, about their shop policy. They don't want to have any of those things adversely affected. And th this handles it. It is not unusual for me to get a call a month about, man, I got to tell you a story how, how we saved one because we had these walk around pictures in here. So great, great opportunity to build some more trust with your clients. So once we've completed the walk around, we have an upsell opportunity with a formal menu presentation. Remember earlier I mentioned, hey, you know, you can build whatever menus you want. Do you want the factory recommended? Do you want your own menu? Do you want a good, better, best? But we have to get advisors in the habit of presenting a menu 100% of the time. Remember, you can choose how you build your menus. Now it's done right at the car. The biggest investment, second biggest investment, most customers are going to make next to their house. So why wouldn't we want to tell them what the manufacturer recommends as far as maintenance intervals go? Increase some of those upsell, those all change only upsell opportunities into a full menu. It's right here. This is what the manufacturer recommends, sir, and it does include that all service. We should do this for you and get this taken care of for you today. What about our Hunter Quick Check on the service drive? Do you have one of those? Do you have dealer tire integration? Because depending on your software level, that does integrate with our tablet as well. Currently, dealers represent 10 to 13% of the retail tire sales in the United States. We have a lot of opportunity there. With alignments, the most expensive shop tool you purchase has some of the lowest sales penetration. So if you could present alignment and tire data at time of check-in, could you increase those sales by 5%? I'd be happy with 5%. And speaking of the need to increase the tire and alignment sales penetration, with electric vehicles increasing in sales and popularity each year, your alignment and tires, we, we have to build those habits now, presenting it 100% of the time. You need to, again, mystery shop yourself. Item number two here, are you competitively priced? Have you shopped your competition? What's your stock of availability? Do you offer road hazard? So I recently at my, at my dealer interaction, my second one here, um, I'd taken my wife's vehicle in and I was told I needed tires. Can you provide me a quote? And I said, absolutely, provide me a quote. I love doing business with my dealer. And I said, while you're at it, make sure that you include road hazard in there. Oh, we don't sell road hazard. And I'm blown away. I mean, I'm just like, how can you not sell road hazard? It is 2021. So you have to understand just how much this is used. So I went to discount tire and they, they share a lot of data with us. 85.3% of their customers that buy road hazard end up using it. And 97.6% say that they would buy it again. So great retention opportunity, great, great profit margins in here as well to be able to sell road hazard. So I would encourage you take a look at that process because customers, including a guy like me that's in the business, wants that option in there. It is a must have. Engage reporting, th this is just fantastic. I, I really like this part. I, I review this all the time, my performance reviews. It's a great way to compare your advisor sales by menus, tires, walk around sales. So it's broken down by service advisor. And we can use this to really look at what advisors are selling and maybe one is way outperforming the others. And are your word tracks different? What are you using to overcome the objection? So lots of opportunity here to use our reporting options for training. So now that you've successfully checked me in, what transportation options do you offer? How are you going to get me out of your store? Am I going to wait there? What are we going to do? And I want to talk about Lyft rideshare integration. So this is a pass-through integration. There's no fee. Of course, you just pay for the rides. Some of you may have a corporate account right now. Um, our Lyft rideshare integration comes with some great reporting. You break it down by advisor. It shows you the mileage, the RO number, um, and it even gives you a percentage of the RO based on you know what the ride cost versus what the, the RO was. With current market supply in loaner fleets being smaller than ever, shuttling your customers offsite to rental facilities, time consuming and inconvenient. And if you do, or if you're fortunate enough to have a rental facility in your store, what are my options there if I want to stay socially distant? You know, do I have to go in or, or can you come outside and take care of me? 
I like the Lyft integration. It's 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 commonly available pretty much anywhere in the United States, and more and more customers are jumping on the rideshare every year. I mean, we just see just continuous increases in that. I use that a lot when I travel. I just rather than getting a car, I'd rather just get a ride to my destination. It just it's a lot more efficient for me. So they can easily schedule a Lyft from the desktop if they choose. The rest of it's done between Lyft and the customer via texting. You do not need the Lyft app. We also have what's called flex ride. So, you know, at the end of the day, if my vehicle's ready and you're like, hey, Mr. Hamby, your vehicle's ready, I'd be like, you know, uh, it's coming in tonight, it's not going to be convenient for me. Can you have a ride here for me at 7 30 or 8 o'clock in the morning? So you can schedule those future rides in here as well. Maybe I'm coming in from the airport and I want to ride when I land. Here's my flight information. You know, book me a ride from there so I can come from the airport straight to here to, to pick up my vehicle. So flex ride is but write down that that's like bullet point number three flex ride you're going to really like the opportunity to book those and just keep us from forgetting because you don't want that 2 a.m oh my gosh i forgot to book a car for mr hamby you know you, you've got the access to do this right here on top of that uh the ride share integration is now available from the engage tablet so right here on the service drive you've checked me in and you're like mr hamby i understand that we needed to give you a ride i can just Boom, right here on my tablet, conveniently schedule the alternative transportation, walk them to the pre-assigned waiting area. I can even monitor the status of their ride and know that I got my customer to their destination. So here's an example of this view right now. Again, I mean, we're just creating a really, really great customer experience by being able to offer all of these options. Now things change a little bit. And, you know, we're going to talk about taking my car to the back. So concrete silos, you know, I'm kind of like this. How do we make that a digital experience and how do we make it virtual? Every vehicle that comes into your shop should get a completed multi-point inspection. And we have to teach advisors to sell the green. When I bring my vehicle in for my first service visit, we'll call it 5,000 miles, I should be presented my green multi-point inspection that says, hey, Mr. Hamby, you're, you know, we did the multi-point inspection. As you can imagine, the manufacturer upheld their end of the deal. Everything is perfect. We'll see you back at 10,000 miles, sir. On top of that, we can auto send the all green inspection form to where your advisors don't even have to worry about it. So we'll talk about the quote microsite here in just a little bit, how we can digitally communicate with our customers while they're in. But we just turn on the, the function to auto send the all green and it does it. This way we've got 100% penetration of we are communicating with our customers even when everything is right continuing to build those relationships. Another way that this is great is if I had been on my previous visit and spent a bunch of money, you know, having to buy repairs and maintenance on my car, the next time I come in, it's, Hey, you, you did a good investment and everything on your car is, is perfect at this time. We know you did a bunch of work last time. Everything is great. We'll see you back in 5,000 more miles. Lots of reasons that we can use the all green to really continue to build some trust in here. So with the inspect mobile app this is where we just talk about operational efficiencies and this is where we talk about some some employee satisfaction as well so creating a digital experience for your clients has to continue throughout the entire process when they're in here the other thing we got to do is we have to keep employees in their work areas where they're the most productive keep the technicians in their bay so with approved a smartphone or tablet they can use the inspect mobile app and do the inspection right there from their bay on top of that, they have the ability where it, it's built in where they can add images to every line of their pay order. So everything we want to sell, a pollen filter, a battery terminal service, an air filter, a CV boot, they can take a picture of that. Remember, your customers may not know what all of these items mean and look like. And when we add an image in there, our sales penetration is going to go up. They may not know what a dirty CV or torn CV boot looks like, but they know what a $100 bill looks like. So... Average additional service recommendation sales in the United States is 21% with no medium. That's across the board. 21%, we sell you know, roughly one-fifth of everything we recommend. As soon as we add one photo, and we've got some great images here, it jumps to 30%. As soon as we add multiple images and videos, and this is with our enhanced multimedia package, we see as much as 50% sales penetration for those additional service recommendations. This is so important that Audi is now requiring technicians to do a video walk around and they have an 85% Mendoza line. That's their mark. So if Audi has found this so important to mandate it, 
then they know it's proven to make a positive impact on sales, CSI, and retention. You all know that too. Images lead our lives, just, just like you know, colorful cereal boxes. We, we like looking at these images and that really helps us make buying decisions. During a monthly review with, with a highlight import store over here on the East Coast, I hopped on the call and uh, we do these monthly performance reviews and I've got the fixed stop structure and the service manager and, you know, Hey, how are you doing? And you know, how was your month? I mean, you should just see them just perk up and smile. And they said, Matt, we had an all time service record and uh, we had a, a service and parts gross uh, increase by $34,000 over our previous record. Not only was it a record, but it was on a 21 day month where our previous record was on a 22 day month. And I'm like, I mean, you're just like, yes, yes, yes. You know, these, these are the stories I like to hear. And I said, well, tell me about it. T tell me about really what you contributed to. And about 90 days prior to this, we had, you know, brought in enhanced multimedia in their store. And we were getting the technicians on board with doing more media. And they contributed this to a large part of it. The big factor in this thing, though, was the employee buy-in. Um, they asked me to look at a specific employee, and I'm like, hey, oh, my gosh, this guy's taking all these pictures. Tell me about it. And they said, well, we had lent him a tablet, and he was seeing such an increase in his sales that he actually went and traded in his flip phone and bought a smartphone, and now he's doing it on his own. What a huge win story. Even if we just get one more person doing this, and that's a big part of this is the employee buy-in. When they have the seat of the pants feel, this is where it, all the difference gets made and your customers are just going to love it. They are going to eat this up. I have so many stores that just tell me my customers love getting my walk around videos. They enjoy seeing the pictures. Now they find just so much more value and trust in this that they just, they, they won't go without it. Now it's just part of their plan. When you come on board here, this is how we do business. So in conjunction with the enhanced multimedia or just multi or media itself, how are we going to get that to our customer? And we have what's called the quote microsite. So we mentioned earlier about sending the inspection forms and things like that. And the, the, the pit, the, the magic in this is in the pictures and videos, but it's also in this turnkey quote, full inspection report, booklet, explanations, it's all there. So you are able to choose to be able to text message or email this quote, our findings, maybe the all green inspection form to our customers. 97% of all text messages are read in under three minutes. And currently I see as high as a 40% response rate at some of my dealers that just reply and approve or decline this work right there. Digital, fast, I've seen stores have their average response time from a customer. This is a performance metric that you have access to. Their average response time from a customer decreased from eight hours to four hours. Talk about overcoming an operational efficiency. I have stores that have now in integrated this into their pay plans that you have to use the digital quote tool 70% of the time to hit one of your performance metrics for a month end. And they're hitting it. They instituted this because they saw such a difference in it. They just said, you just got to do it every time. So once we send this to a customer, they're sent a secure microsite. You can see there's also an option on here talking about service tracker. We're going to talk about this. But again, a turnkey quote, they have access to it. They see it. They click on the link. They see their quote. You can see I've got my pictures and my images here. They can approve and decline the work. We get the notification in the store. It moves the vehicle in the process. So everybody knows that my, my client read this text message or this email and they approve the work and it just continues through the process. So expediting that, you know, phone tag, voicemail, maybe I didn't even listen to your voicemail and I just came in at the end of the day and didn't realize you needed to keep my car. This is, again, we're talking about increasing operational efficiencies here. If you could do last year all over again this year, same car, same everything, and get away from voicemails and start using the text message feature in the quote microsite, how much more efficient could you be? How much faster could you get the cars to the shop to allow you to be able to bring more cars in? The intra-dealer chat goes right along with our inspect feature too. So there's not only how we communicate with our customers, but it's how we communicate with each other. Remember, I want to stay in my bay. I want to stay in my parts department. I want to stay at my service advisor desk. And this is how we do it. So they can use this, your parts, your advisors, your technicians to quickly reach each other. No more overhead paging, no more, you know, calling each other, having to walk around, look for each other. We can send media to each other. We can simply communicate, hey, your tires are here. 
we can send a message, hey, they chose the Pirellis and not the Michelins. The technician maybe sends a TSB or a repair procedure and says, hey, I've got to do this. I need you to order all these parts. We don't want to get in there and have a, you know, have a vehicle down in a bay because we forgot to order a part. And now I've got a bay that's not usable. This is it right here. You know, the, the faster we can communicate with each other, maybe we can beat that parts cutoff too to avoid unnecessary days down because we didn't get the approvals in or we didn't communicate before, let's just say that 3 p.m. parts cut off. So you heard me earlier say service tracker. This is another digital option that allows your customers to track the progress of their vehicle without having to call the store or wait for an update. You heard me say earlier the 10, two and four calls, the texting, well, what if we automated this process? They can receive, they can opt in to receive the notifications and they know where their car's at every step of the way. Then boom, they see cars done. Maybe that prompts a text message of, send me the lift or I'll be there at 5.30 or I'll be there at eight or whatever that is. But again, just improving operational inefficiencies that are inherently built in Service Tracker is a great way to overcome that right there. Now that I've finished my service visit, what's next? Well, I've got to pay my bill. What are you offering there? So are you asking me to come in, you know, whenever I get off work and stand in a line? Well, what if I have questions? What if I'm the fourth person back and the person in front of me has questions and they're needing an explanation that maybe the cashier can't explain? Or maybe you've left for the day and advisor B is like, well, you'll have to wait till tomorrow to talk to advisor A to get those explanations on that. This is a great way where I can prepay my bill. You can have my, my car pulled up, my keys, everything ready, reduce my checkout time. That's what I want. I don't want to be there a long time. I want to get my car, turn things over and go. And if I can check out online, I'm going to do it. It's a great option to have. And your customers may want this as well. What about those customers that ask you, can we break down my repairs and do a little bit at a time? Um, can you finance my repairs? What, what can we do there in those options? And this is where we have FlexPay. Uh, online payment integration, FlexPay, these are pass-through services. We don't charge for those, of course. You know, you'll have your uh, fees from whomever you decide to sign up with. But have a yes answer for those customers that say, can you finance? What can I do about this? And if you think this isn't for your store, let me give you some, some stats and you can look this up. 50% of Americans have $250 or less in disposable income. Think about that number. You want to add in the, the next demographic there, 24% have between $250 and $750. So we've just covered 75% have less than $750 in disposable income. With a 90% approval rate in under 30 seconds, no money down, no hidden fees, flexible terms, that is appealing. I can get those tires today without having to put money in my uh, out of my bank account and I'll, you know, I have these flexible payment terms where I can afford a small monthly payment, but maybe I just can't afford to pay for it all at once. <laughs> so what happens when the vehicle, when I'm not in your service department? What are, what are we doing here to stay in front? Remember, we talk about people spending hours and hours a day on social media, on YouTube, on networking sites. They're constantly getting exposed to marketing. So invite full cycle marketing program. Bullet point number four, I want you to write this word down, deep link, deep linking, deep linked. This is where we are just heads and tails above other manufacturers, I'm sorry, other advertising companies out there. Other companies take credit for everything and we, we wanna take credit for everything, but you can't truly measure those results. If they send a mailer out and six weeks later, I hit a pothole and I come in for a tire and wheel, they're gonna take the credit for it. Our email campaigns take you straight to the offer and we can track it and give you explicit and implicit results. So if you market to me and I click on that link, it goes straight to X time schedule back from the beginning. And we can see that, hey, you know, this they we mailed them this piece and they clicked on the link and they came in and then we saw an RO. How great is that? On top of that, I mean, just think you're you're. Your clients are exposed to competition daily. You have to stay forefront of nine, mind, not only by delivering a world-class experience when they're in your store, but also during the months between those visits. Review what you're sending out. Look at the metrics. See if any updates need to be made to your coupons or campaigns. Make sure to stay relevant for seasonal and market changes. 
With Invite, you get a dedicated marketing person, no fees for artwork or proofs to build your regular seasonal holiday or ad hoc promotions. Earlier, I said Deep Link. This, this is some magic. So time slot discounting relevant communications, put your customer hat on. Message consistency, coordinated campaigns, holiday seasonal, newsletters, community events, decline services, lost souls, loyal customers, OEM retention, recalls. What we can do is, let, let's just say you're having a hard time filling these afternoon time slots. Well, what if we sent out a mailer that said, if you schedule your appointment between two and four, you get $10 off or you get 10. This is what it's going to look like when they go to your scheduler. You're going to have these little orange icons there. And it's basically, hey, if you want to use this coupon, you click in any of these time slots here and it allows me to book my appointment. I can see that I've got my little message there that says, hey, you know, you're going to give you this discount because you're choosing these time frames. That is deep linking. That's the part of the magic in this whole thing. Huge value there. So I encourage you, if you're having a hard time filling afternoon time slots or a weekend or a particular day or anything like that, this is the way to get that done. So what does all of this mean? It means your customers want a digital experience. We've proven that. Shop yourself and your competition. What sets you apart? What's going to make it unique when I come and do business with you? Remember earlier, I talked about mystery shopping yourself just by going on your website. I would encourage you to get with your performance manager and have them do a mystery shop of your store and give you that feedback because increased use of digitalization leads to increased sales and customer retention. The easier we can make it for our customers to do business with us on their time, the way we want them to do business, the more, the, the more we're going to get out of our customers, the better retention we're going to have. Inspect what you expect metrics and performance. If you're a GM, fixed ops director, if you're an owner, I would encourage you to value the knowledge that you bring. You need to schedule a performance review with your performance consultant of your store, set up that meeting, have them go through what they're looking at, give your feedback, set some goals out there and talk about how you can increase the, the, the customer element and the employee element in your store. I would encourage you to, to, to schedule that and we look forward to hearing from you. X time spectrum, contact your performance manager and schedule a review. My name is Matt Hamby. I'm very thankful for your time.